Are there any other risks of oversharing personal information online that we haven't covered and what we can do as parents to help them, to guide them to avoid it? Because, you know, I, I think one of the other issues is just that, you know, as parents, we are you know, we're telling dad jokes, we make cringy observations and our kids are <laughs> ignoring us. Even when, you know, sometimes we're just being annoying, but other times we're talking to them about really important things like this oversharing can affect your online reputation and those risks really do matter. And for kids, you know, they just, it's all of us have a difficult time thinking about, you know, being future focused. Yeah. We're very much in the moment and that's, that's a good thing on some level, but we have to be aware of how this might affect us down the road. So what else can we do to help our kids um, avoid oversharing? Well, you kind of hit the nail on the head because as a parent to tell your kids not to do something, it's going to go in one ear and out the other. It just is, you know? Yeah, yeah. Especially with technology because a lot of them say, well, what do you know? I know so much more. It's just right. the mindset. So that's yeah. why I just think doing these activities in the classroom with peers and saying, hey, what do you think? You figure this out. It empowers yeah. them to feel like they are the expert and they make this discovery on their own of what could happen. And all of a sudden they feel like, oh, wow, this is what, you know, I'm going to be more careful because I did this activity and now it's in my brain. And then they turn yeah. around and they're the expert. And oftentimes they go home and tell their parent, hey, you shouldn't do this because this could happen to you. So yeah. I like to turn the equation around. It's funny. In the beginning, you said something about engaging students and empowering parents, right? Is that what you, yep. the term you use? And I would turn yep. it around. Like, I think what we're trying to do is empower the students and engage the parents. I mean, if any of this resonates with you and you want your kids to use the internet well, whether it's for financial purposes or engagement purposes or learning purposes, or just because they're gonna use it when they get older, you know, pick up the phone and ask your school administrator, are you teaching my kids digital literacy? Mm -hmm. You know, and if you're not, why not? Um, yeah. I think that's really important today because it doesn't happen unless you ask for a lot of schools. A lot of schools are doing it, which is awesome. Um, I would hope that you would send them to cyber civics if they want to learn more. We have a really robust curriculum that starts in fourth grade. It goes through eighth grade. So at the very minimum, that's what I would love for parents to do.